When I first got involved in sleep research and sleep education, I was probably one of 15 or 20 people in the world taking a look at this. This was around the end of the 60s. And since that time, the field of sleep medicine, which is kind of brand new, is just virgin. And about 70% of the population is not sleeping well at least two or three nights a week. So there's a great need. But I have really specialized not in disorders, but in the fact that people don't value sleep. They're not getting enough sleep because, quote, I just don't have the time. I like to ask people, how much sleep do you get? And on average, people will say about seven hours. But if we put little acta watches on people's wrists that measure every second of their day and their night, people tend to overestimate the amount of sleep they're getting by about 47 minutes. So the average person who thinks they're getting seven is probably getting closer to six. But the problem is with the gadgets on the market today, they don't tell you what to do with that information or how much sleep you should really be getting. In fact, most adults need between seven and a half and nine hours of sleep every night to be fully alert, energetic, dynamic all day long. And sleep need goes up from puberty to 24 years of age. These people, these are our middle school, high school, and college kids and young professionals need nine and a quarter hours of sleep every night to be fully alert and they average 6.1. There are serious deleterious consequences of not getting enough sleep, not only daytime drowsiness, but an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes, type two diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, obesity, irritability, anxiety, depression, and lack of ability to concentrate. Establish a regular sleep-wake schedule. Go to bed and get up at the same time Monday through Monday, including the weekends. We have one biological clock, not one for the work week and one for the weekends. And make sure your bedroom is quiet, dark, and cool. No caffeine after two in the afternoon. It will ruin REM sleep, the period in which most dreams take place, but it's also a period of cognitive processing that's very important. If you get adequate sleep, you'll be an entirely different person. And the most fun I've had has not only been watching students who buy into this, have their grade point average instantly go up, is to now work with professional athletes in the NHL, the NBA, the NFL. We can literally change a person's athleticism overnight, even though they're at the top of their profession. And we now have the secret as to how to build overnight that automatic motor muscle memory. The physicians have told us, the brain researchers have told us that exercise is key to health, that nutrition is key to health. But we've forgotten the third as important variable, and that is sleep. Without adequate sleep, even though you're exercising and you're eating well, you're not gonna be able to perform at your best. So our role is to educate the public about improving their sleep.